Hi friends. In church on Sunday, we were reading from Mark and talking about some more Jesus stories. And we know that Jesus would be hanging out with the people that oftentimes those around him, those in that society would say, these people are not worthy of you. You see, just back then, just like right now, there was a line of division of people who had money who didn't, people who had power and who didn't. There were lines based on ethnicity, where you were from, your faith, what you believed. There was definitely divisions of haves and have nots. And of course, Jesus came along and stepped right over that line and Jesus would be with everyone and say, you are welcome here, you belong here, you are loved. But more than being willing just to step over that line, Jesus was take that line away and say, there is no line. There is no us and them. We all belong here. And so I was thinking about that and how hard that can be, especially right now. I think we feel so divided. And so it seems like such a huge task to unite your community, your state, your country, the world. It feels so divided. And so it's a great lesson, but it feels like, but, but how, Jesus? And so I think sometimes we can look to our young kids because they can teach us some really great lessons. Because I think that sometimes our kids, they recognize differences, they see things that are different, but they don't have those preconceived notions as to what those differences might mean, what they might represent. And so I love the fact that kids will look at one another and they recognize that their hair is different, that their skin color is different, that what they might eat, the language they use, those things might be different. They recognize it. It's not that they don't see it, but it just doesn't mean as much maybe as it does to grown-ups. And I love the way that they can recognize that and celebrate that. And so I think that right now, as divided as we are, we need to keep working on that listening to learn, spending time with people, keeping ourselves open, being willing to change our minds about things. Because I think that what happens is that when we stick ourselves down, when we are so sure we are so right about all of the things, that's when damage can be done. But when we can be willing to change our minds, which takes bravery, you have to be brave in order to keep yourself open and vulnerable to that. But what I have found is that when I spend time talking to somebody that I disagree with, when I keep myself open, oftentimes I don't change my mind, but I might come away from that conversation with a deeper understanding of either the background of why that person thinks that way or something extra about that. I get something out of that conversation. Again, it's not to change me every time, but I do come away with something worthwhile from that time. And so I think that if we can say, I'm willing to cross the line, or goodness, hopefully working towards a place where that line is no longer there, that we can keep ourselves open to new friendships, to new ideas, to new people, and recognize how we are different because it's beautiful the way we are different, but also recognize that in more ways we are so the same. Have a great week, everybody.